Let's talk about HHV6 and HHV7, which are beta herpes viruses. This video is going to be very short because there's still a lot that we have to learn about them. But what do we know about them? Well, we know that HHV6 and 7 cause a disease syndrome that has many names. It's called roseola or roseola infantum or sixth disease or exanthema subitum. But for now, just know the name of the virus, HHV6 and 7, and at least remember roseola. For the rest, you can use Google. So almost all kids get roseola between the ages of six months and two years. And it's usually not a severe illness, more like a mild respiratory illness, but it does cause a very high fever, around 39 to 40 degrees Celsius. And with the sudden onset of such a high fever, about 10 to 15 percent of kids get febrile seizures. Note, though, that this doesn't mean the kid is going to have a seizure disorder. So otherwise, this illness is benign, and it lasts a few days. And after the fever breaks and the baby is recovering, that's when, boom, a pinkish-red rash emerges, usually on the trunk. And then it spreads outwards, and then it goes away. And that's it. Maybe. Right now, there's still a lot of research going on to see if this virus causes neurologic sequelae. Now, like all herpes viruses, HHV 6 and 7 remain latent, and they can reactivate from the CNS, and they can cause fevers in immunocompromised hosts. But also here, their role in disease is still under investigation. And just to let you know, there's no evidence that they cause cancer.